bad news. The fight ain't happening. Terrence Crawford admits that he never wanted the Errol Spence fight. The fans only wanted it. Before we get into this next video, make sure that you hit my like button and subscribe to the channel if you not already a sub to the channel. And yeah, y'all don't want to miss this one because I got receipts behind receipts behind receipts. So grab your popcorn. Kick off your shoes and relax your feet and watch Terrence Crawford because he's scared to get beat by EJ. Now recently, it's been a whole lot of lies and rumors going around that Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence are secretly, sources say, they're secretly behind the scenes. So they telling you that the Keith Thurman fight might not happen because Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford is secretly talking to each other, sources say. But then they telling you that Keith Thurman and Errol Spence is more likely to happen. A bunch of BS, you know, things that we continue to get in boxing. But me, myself, right? I was one of the ones that was advocating for Terrence Crawford for a long time, saying that Terrence Crawford does want to fight Errol Spence. You know, he not ducking Errol Spence when other people were saying he don't want to fight. He ducking Errol Spence. But then I started saying, nah, he don't want to fight Errol Spence when he started saying out of his own mouth that he didn't want the Errol Spence fight. And then Terrence Crawford got me again because he did a whole 360. He came back around and he said that he did want to fight Errol Spence, right? When Terrence Crawford's back was up against the wall, when he felt that he didn't have no other promotional company that was going to deal with him, no other promotional company that was going to give him any type of big money, then he pump faked the fans and he pretended like that, yeah, I do want the Errol Spence fight. Now, I'm not going to talk no longer. Let's just get into the receipts that I have showing you that Terrence Crawford fooled all of us because he never wanted to fight to begin with. Go ahead and drop the receipts. And I'm not the one that they say, oh, well, you need Spence. Why would I need Spence? Why would I need Spence? A lot of people, a lot of people say, I need Spence. I don't need Spence because fans want Spence. <laughs> That's all I hear. A lot of people be like, he needs Spence. I don't need Spence. Oh, hold on. That's just exhibit A. It gets worse. So y'all heard out of Terrence Crawford's mouth, and this is back in like 2021. You know what I'm talking about? When everybody's calling for the fight, when Errol Spence himself is saying that fight needs to happen. Oh yeah, we gonna fight. But Terrence Crawford, he's talking about how he doesn't need Spence. How the fans only want the Spence fight. He don't really want the fight. That's y'all, man, out of his own mouth. He never wanted to fight from the beginning. Now, at the same time, he was calling for Manny Pacquiao. That's who Terrence Crawford really, really wanted to fight. That is the only big name fighter that Terrence Crawford has ever wanted to fight. But, you know, I don't have to tell you. He can tell you himself. That's who he wants to fight, Manny Pacquiao, not Errol Spence. But let's listen to Terrence Crawford and hear what he has to say about the situation. Hold on, let me roll the tape. Yeah, man, I want Pacquiao. You want Pacquiao? Why you want that fight? Because, man, that's 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 the fight that I've been looking for for years. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's. Wait, did Terrence Crawford tell y'all that? Manny Pacquiao the only fight that he's been looking for for years. He didn't say Errol Spence. I think I heard that right. He said Manny Pacquiao, not Errol Spence. But before that, he told y'all he ain't never really wanted Errol Spence. The fans only wanted Errol Spence. He wanted Manny Pacquiao. But let the BPC, the Bud Protection Committee, tell you, oh, he's been hunting down Errol Spence and chasing Errol Spence for years and years, and Errol Spence been ducking for years. Oh, yeah. Don't stop watching now, because it gets worse. Oh, yeah, it gets worse. So let me go ahead and continue to play the tape. Man, looking for it for years, you know what I mean? And I feel like that's the one fight that I really, really want at this point in time. So you think that's a good, that's a good look for you right now? Hell yeah. To be, to, to be Pacquiao and uh, capture that belt, that is a good look. You know what I mean? Given, given the circumstances of Pacquiao last year, 
performance for me to do something that the uh, last uh, fighter and Keith Thurman couldn't do it the throne. Yeah, that's a good look. Manny Pacquiao is a great look for him. But hold on. Remember, Terrence Bud Crawford in his camp, the BPC, the Bud Protection Committee, when they heard that Errol Spence was about to fight Manny Pacquiao, right, for the belt. Manny Pacquiao was all type of bombs, and Manny Pacquiao was old, and he was all everything, right? But y'all forgot when Terrence Crawford thought that he was going to get a Manny Pacquiao fight, he was voicing loud. I don't want no Errol Spence. Oh, nah, nah, boo-boo. I'm about to fight Manny Pacquiao. I'm about to get a Manny Pacquiao fight. Remember that? He was on his nah, nah, boo-boo sh when he thought that he had a Manny Pacquiao fight locked in. Let's go ahead and play some more receipts because it seemed like fans tend to forget a lot of things. Okay, you know what I mean? But that fight not gonna happen because he already talking to 60-40 deal. And if it ain't 60-40 in my favor, then that fight is not gonna happen. Period. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't accomplish way more than he accomplished in his little career. You know what I mean? So, I, I, I don't care. I, I really, like I told people, I really don't care if that fight happened or not. But if we fight, we fight. If we don't, we don't. Wait, hold on. Did that man just say again that he don't care if he fight Errol Spence? You know what I'm talking about? He don't care. He don't want that fight. He also said that he hasn't done nothing in his little career. That's jealousy. What you heard right there was jealousy. Because he always has to down Errol Spence to make himself look bigger. You shouldn't have to down another man to make yourself look bigger if you really on that level. You know what I'm talking about? If you really on that level, you ain't downing another man to bring your level up. Because you already there. But you see, he's telling you over and over again. He don't care if the fight happens. That fight is nothing to him. The fans only wanted to fight. He wanted Manny Pacquiao. But let's go ahead and continue to roll more tape if this ain't enough. You have the ability right now to call out whoever you want to fight next. Who do you want the most? Wait, hold on. Did he just say once again? And that was right after the Kell Brook fight. When everybody talking about, oh man, Errol Spence is ducking. Errol Spence is ducking. You know what I'm talking about? Because y'all remember, Terrence Crawford fought. Kale Brook and Errol Spence came back and fought Danny Garcia. That's when y'all said that Errol Spence was ducking. That was one of the times because y'all been saying it for the longest time. That man, he got on the mic and said, I want to fight Manny Pacquiao. He was asking a question, who do you want to fight next? Oh, I want to fight Manny Pacquiao. I've been saying I want to fight Manny Pacquiao. He said, well, you want to fight Manny Pacquiao more than you do Errol Spence? He said, of course. That's a fight I've been wanting. I want to make that Manny Pacquiao fight. But if that ain't enough, let's see what he said when he talked to Brian Custer. You know, when I look at when, when Pacquiao was, was signed with top rank, a man chasing Pacquiao since 2015, trying to get that fight. You know, uh, they've they been, you know, taking other fighters over me instead of fighting me like Brandon Rios, Jesse uh, Vargas, all those type of fighters instead of fighting me when I was there to fight. Your Dennis Ugas uh, is the latest person who's, who's come out and called you out. Oh, yeah. We're not even going to talk about how Ugas called him out and he ain't want no smoke with Ugas. He was looking for Pacquiao. Where's Manny Pacquiao? I want Manny Pacquiao. I want Manny Pacquiao. That's all you heard from Terrence Bud Crawford. Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao, Manny Pacquiao. I don't want to fight Spence. Only the fans want that. The Spence fight, it ain't nothing to me. He ain't did nothing for me. Now let's go ahead and skip to 2021 again in May. What does Terrence Crawford say about Errol Spence when everybody is saying that Errol Spence is ducking Terrence Crawford? Well, let's go ahead and roll the tape. Spence is 
expense would be this year, maybe next year. Never. Why say never? What about 154? Never gonna happen. What about 154? So there's Terrence Crawford once again telling you, oh, the Errol Spence fight never gonna happen. I'm never fighting him, never. But see, y'all have to understand, that's when Terrence Crawford was still on his high horse. At that point in time, he's still looking around and saying, oh, you know, I'm still with top rank right now. I still can fight anybody that top rank give me that's Rudy Poots. And you know, I'm still gonna make my bag. I don't need no Errol Spence because I'm still going to get these easy fights and I'm going to get a lot of money fighting these easy opponents. And at that point in time, Terrence Crawford, he didn't realize once he did become a free agent that the other promoters wasn't going to be trying to do business with him. In Terrence Crawford's mind, he was the hottest thing on the block. He didn't realize that his price was going to be too high and other promoters wasn't going to be chasing after him. Now, right here, we're going to play Errol Spence because at the same time that Terrence Crawford was running around talking about that he didn't want to fight Errol Spence, it means nothing. Errol Spence was telling you the opposite. He was saying that he wanted to fight Terrence Crawford. He was saying that he even talked to Terrence Crawford about it behind the scenes. And he talked to Al Heyman behind the scenes. And he wants to make the fight. But, you know, y'all ain't got to hear it from me. Let's hear what EJ said out of his own mouth. I mean, I didn't talk to Al about the fight before. We had uh, numerous discussions about it. And, um, you know, he said the same thing. You know, when it makes sense, it's going to happen. So, you know, hopefully it can happen next year. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to fighting Chance Crawford. A lot of his fans and uh, people from Omaha and, uh, you know, just, you know, a lot of his fans saying that I'm ducking them. You know, that's not the case at all. I didn't face out Chance Crawford before anyway. But if I face time fight a couple months ago, you know, I talked about the fighting things like that, so, you know, definitely no ducking, no, I'm not the type of guy that's going to duck anybody, so, I mean, it's, it's going to happen, it's definitely going to happen. Yeah, so, you heard EJ, he was thinking the fight was going to happen, he was telling y'all, ain't no ducking on my part, we also seen EJ call him out in the middle of the ring, I'm coming to snatch your belt, when the time came, because you heard EJ right there saying, I already talked to Al, the fight gonna happen, because he's thinking the fight gonna happen, when the time is right, when I do what I say I'm gonna do, oh, I'm going after him, and Errol Spence did exactly that. Oh, he went after him. Oh, yeah. He hunted him down like prey. But let's go ahead and play some more tape of Terrence Crawford. We all know how Terrence Crawford ended up initially ducking out of the fight, whether you want to admit it or not. You know, when the fight came to his attention, when it wasn't no promotional company, no size of the street in the way, no excuses, right? The fight came to him and... He ducked the fight. Now, beforehand, you had Terrence Crawford telling you that, hey, it ain't about money to me. I just want to prove that I'm better than him. If it's me, I'll take less money. You know, it don't matter to me because I know I'm going to beat him. You know what I'm talking about? I just want to show everybody I'm going to beat him. But did he do that when the fight came to his doorstep? Nah, he made every excuse in the world. He also, right here, this footage that I'm going to play, y'all, he's telling y'all that if a fighter wants to fight, the fight going to happen. Can't nobody stop it because if two fighters really want to fight, it's going to happen. Well, this is Tom Brown, right, in a press conference with Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter. And Tom Brown is telling the people that, you know, if two fighters want it, they going to fight each other no matter what. Well, Terrence Crawford responds to this. And I'm just going to play the audio so y'all can hear what Tom Brown had to say. And then y'all can hear what Crawford's response was. And yeah, you know, look, at it comes down, just like Bob said, it's the fighters. It's always the fighters. When, 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 when they ask for something, or they, it's a fight that can be made, we're going to go do it. We're gonna, we have, we've worked with top rank, you know, many times in the past. And it seems like the relationship's just been getting better and better and if we, you know i'm looking forward i'm looking forward to tonight it's been a great event great promotion and uh, obviously november 20th we're going right back into it again so it's it's worked very well together thank you hold up hold up time out time out can you reverse what you just said a few minutes ago it's the what the fighters that makes the fight that want the fight you go get the fight that's right. Now, I know where you're going to go with this. All right, all right, all right, all right. I just wanted y'all to hear. I don't know where you're going with it. No, 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 no. 
It's a new that. day. It's definitely it's a, a new, new day. day. <laughs> it's definitely a new day, but I just wanted y'all to hear that on camera. So y'all know it ain't Terrence Crawford that's been stealing the fights, all the fights that y'all been wanting to see. I just wanted y'all to know that. Yeah, Terrence Crawford was talking real big when he was over there with top rank. Y'all heard it out of his mouth. If the fighters want to fight, they gonna go get it. You know what I'm talking about? And what did Terrence Crawford do when he ultimately had the chance to back up all of that stuff that he had been talking for years and years over there at top rank? That man made every excuse in the world not to make the fight with Errol Spence. Every excuse in the world because initially he pump faked everybody. He thought that, damn, my back is up against the wall. I really don't have no choice but to fight Errol Spence because that's the only way I'm going to get some money. You know what I'm talking about? When you had the zone. They didn't have nothing for him. They came out publicly. Eddie Hearn came out publicly and said, you know, he's a great fighter, but we ain't trying to do no business with him. He couldn't do business with top rank because he had ran off and sued top rank. So that was a closed door for him. You know what I'm talking about? He couldn't do business with Golden Boy because Golden Boy didn't want to do business with him at that point in time. So he looking around and he like, man, I don't have no other choice. Then he started pump faking again, talking about, oh, Errol Spence, where you at? Where you at, Errol Spence? And they went into negotiations, but you know what gave Terrence Crawford a way out? BLK Prime came through. BLK Prime came through a little bit after he started negotiating with Errol Spence. And from that point on, he was banking on BLK Prime to give him something and get him a big bag. And he knew he wasn't going to have to fight no tough competition because BLK Prime was just coming in the game. You know what I'm talking about? BLK Prime gave him a way out, the way out that he had been looking for. He never wanted to fight Errol Spence. He might have would have took the Errol Spence fight if BLK Prime never had to gave him a way out. But they gave him a way out. They gave him a way out and gave him more excuses. That man wanted everything in order to fight Errol Spence. The exact opposite of how he was talking when he was over there at top rank. He wasn't talking like that when he was over there at top rank, knowing the fight wasn't going to happen. He was talking about, oh, man, if it's me, I'll do this. I'll do this. I, I don't care about money. I'll just show. I just want to show I can whoop him and all of that. But the fight was at his doorstep, and that man asked for everything. That man wanted to talk to Errol Spence's kindergarten teacher. He wanted Errol Spence's background. He wanted to know how many street fights Errol Spence had been in. He wanted to sit down like he was a recruiter and talk to Errol Spence's grandparents. He wanted to check Errol Spence's academic records. And he wanted to know everything about Errol Spence. Then, hey, when they gave him all that information, that man wanted to holler at Showtime. He wanted Showtime to give him the authority to approve all expenses. This man don't have no promotional company. This man don't have no fighters. None of that. But now he got to demand it. Oh, if Showtime want to put on the commercial, I got to be able to prove that. If Showtime want to do this and do that, I have to be able to approve that. This dude never want to fight. When somebody, right, don't want to fight, they're going to find a way to get out of a fight. When somebody wants to fight, they're going to do everything they can to make the fight. You know, what more do I got to say? Y'all saw what happened. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Drop a comment. Like this video. It don't cost you nothing to hit the like button. And y'all already know how I do. Tango talking that boxing again. And I'm gone.